Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. As we, uh, we roll out the last segment on this week's show, as again we uh, point toward uh, 20 years on the air later in uh, in August when we uh, turn 20 on Outdoors with Larry Ray. And, uh, you know, we've been able to really skip across the country here. It's not that we don't have a lot going on in the Mid-South, and I will tell you uh, uh, quickly about next week's shows and, and before we get to this next guest, who I'm really looking forward to talking to, that we will switch gears a little bit and talk uh, uh, Arkansas waterfowl bill on next week's show with Luke Naylor. Uh, nice. t- talking Holy with God. Luke about that. And then, of course, the National Bird Dog Championship is coming again. I think it's 124, 125. If you've never been to Ames Plantation for the National Bird Dog Championship, go. This year you can drive around and everything. But we're going to talk to Gary Lester, who has won this thing three, four, five times. And wow. he'll and wow. he's uh, he'll be on next week's show. Uh, out of Kentucky, I might say. I'll just throw that in there a little bit, too. And then Brandon Butler of Driftwood Outdoors. I don't know if you folks know that Brandon lost everything in a fire. Bill, I know you and Ron both know Brandon from uh, uh, from Seopa and the Missouri Conservation, but he great, lost everything. Great, in, in, uh, great guy and a great conservation. Yes, and uh, some poacher that he turned in burned his house down. So we're going to talk to Brandon next week. And then, of course, Ron... We'll be at the Grizzly Jig next weekend for the big thing up in Carothersville, right, Ron? Oh, that's right. Now, uh, you know, not only uh, do, am I looking forward to talking about the new Grizzly Jig showroom, uh, but also we're we're going to try to get one of the Mansfields to talk with yes. us on the radio. All right, we got that out of the way. Now let's talk to the man himself, okay? Because uh, uh, all of us here are fans of Major League Fishing, and I think it's been a... Hey, uh, the best TV yeah, going the, right a, now. A, it's been a game changer right off the bat, and we talked to Shaw Grigsby earlier, who was right there when it got started, and we're really happy to have him on Outdoors with Larry Ray, uh, a friend of this show and a friend of many people, Jim Wilburn. He is the president and CEO of Major League Fishing. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Larry. How are you all doing? We're doing great, uh, and I know this has been really something. Jim, I know uh, the bandwagon continues. The parade keeps going on. Uh, we got social distance and wearing masks, but the Major League Fishing is still catching fish. So uh, when I saw the figures, and Ron saw these, I'm sure Bill did too, uh, back from December, when I got the press release that you guys how many people were watching Major League Fishing December the 13th blew my mind. Uh, the TV ratings, the number of people, 300,000, more than 1.8 million total viewers, which uh, increases its average audience impressions by more than 300,000. And then I look back here and it says Major League Fishing was the highest rated non-football related sports program on broadcast and cable TV during the first three weeks of December 2020. Jim? Can you can you believe that? Uh, I can, but then again, I know where y'all started, and if you'd asked me that 10 years ago, I'm not sure. You know, I mean, uh, it, it was a big step, uh, almost like... Uh, uh, Armstrong on the moon, you know, one giant step for what, you know, you, you guys have hit a home run here, so to speak. Yeah, we uh, were very fortunate. I was, I was very surprised on that rating. Uh, we actually did over 1.9 million viewers. <laughs> uh, wow. Yes. Uh, and uh, the reason I was surprised is because with the disruption in sports this year yes. you know a lot of sports were down as much as 50 percent on television audiences but even the nfl you know we followed the same nfl program on the same week as we did last year and nfl ratings were down the least of anybody they were down seven percent so i fully expected to be down at least 10 percent year over year and when i got the audience that we were 20 our uh, viewers two plus years old over 300,000, we were up 21% year over year. I was 
shocked, <laughs> pleasantly shocked. Yes. But, so, and I'm really excited because, uh, you know, uh, this Sunday, uh, tomorrow, yes. we're going to have a show on at one o'clock Eastern on CBS, and we're expecting another pretty good rating. So I can't wait to get that number next week. So you you, you hear these figures, Jim, and uh, why? What do, what do you think has captured the the the, the uh, the audience that you guys have been able to do? Well, I just think it's, Larry, uh, the, the number one thing, it, it's our anglers. We have the biggest personalities like Shaw, you know, in the sport. Yes. And we've been on now 10 years. Uh, we're on, you know, six networks. We're on 1,400 plus Amazing. hours a year. Amazing. People love the format. but uh, So second to the anglers, they really love the competitive format. Because it's like a sport. They can identify with it because there's going to be a winner yes. when they w- were watching a show. And uh, and I really think that's the difference. Uh, it, it's the only explanation, frankly, because there's other fishing shows on comparable networks that uh, have a different format. And our audience more than doubles. It, it, and it's also <laughs> a tournament show. You know, so it's, yeah. you just it has to be the format. And it's reality TV. I mean, it feels like it. I it, mean, you know, I mean, uh, yeah, it, it, yeah. It puts you in the those, it puts uh, you yeah. in the boat. Uh, unlike putting you on the up on the stage with the performers, you actually feel like you're in the boat with them. And I, I to me, Ron, you, you and Bill may think that different, but I think that makes you feel like you're you're on the boat with these guys. So uh, it really does, you know, because you know you can see what they're doing, how they're doing it what they're doing it with, and then you get to also see the frustrations when something doesn't go yeah. right. Yeah, and that happens. Look, I, a big yeah. part of this, one yeah. of the things my wife loves about it, and I do too, is, is these guys are also, they aren't just fishing for the five. I mean, they're fishing for fish, man. And, yeah. and you know, it's a, uh, that's what most of us weekend folks do. So it, it's uh, it's a lot more real. To us. Uh, she the, loves it. the other thing that I think, guys, that's happened is that I hear anecdotally all the time is just what you just said. Uh, you know, not only is it my favorite show, uh, it's not my favorite fishing show. It's my favorite show, but it's my wife and my son's favorite show. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. we hear that over and over again. Women really love this show, and uh, and we have a fairly, you know, thirty uh, percent of the audience is female, so, which is great. You know, yeah, well, that's awesome. Yeah, that's uh, the fastest growing part of uh, fishing is uh, is is more women. As women, uh, yeah, yeah, as women. Whether yeah. you're in the clothing part of it, whatever it might be. And again, we're talking to Jim Wilburn, president and CEO of Major League Fishing, about the amazing uh, growth of the sport and also the growth of its TV audience. And and Jim, I you know I don't want to I hate to go from a uh, high, but Let's talk about 2021 from Major League Fishing. Uh, you know, we've already had some cancellations out at Shasta in California because of uh, yeah. different COVID rules. Uh, you guys made it through last year uh, with, with wonderful things. So talk about 2021. And we're all, of course, we're all hoping and praying that uh, the vaccine works and we get over this thing. But talk about from 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 your perspective, a major league fishing in twenty twenty one, in twenty twenty one. Yeah, we're yeah, Larry, we're really excited about it. I mean, that was unfortunate, but you know, California is on lockdown right now. Yes. It, what's we've been blessed in that we haven't ever since we opened back up last May, we hadn't had any of that. We hadn't had any cancellations no. at all. But obviously, we're at the peak of it. But we're planning a full schedule. Uh, you know, we start our first uh, Tackle Warehouse Pro Circuit event, the uh, like the 13th of February, and yes. then our Red Crest down in Texas, our championship begins the 21st of February. So, and then, you know, we get started off uh, with our Bass Pro Tour Stage 1, the 21st of March, and then, you know, we're off to the races. But we've got, you know, over 200 tournaments, and Golly. so far that's the only blip we've, we've got, and, and hopefully it doesn't get worse. And, but we're feeling pretty good about, uh, about next, this, this year. Well, I, we're all hopeful, and I know that, uh, that we've maybe turned some corners. Uh, 
because we uh, we we want it to be the best, and and you guys have uh, have been able to put the the best together with what you got, and and the appeal here, as Ron was saying, and I have saying, that uh, that it's the uh, I don't know, it just seems like uh, uh, as I said, reality in a boat. And I know when Boyd and Gary and all you guys were rolling this thing out back in 2009 or whatever it was, that, uh, you know, you were just, it was, it was so different. <laughs> it was, yeah. it was so oh. different. And, and I say, now wait, let me watch this for a while. And it took a while, but I think once you got into the hang of it, and now it's, uh, man, catch another one or don't lose that one. Or don't fall in the yeah. lake, you know, or or don't hit the yeah. cameraman, or whatever it might be, you know. So uh, uh, my hat's off to you guys, Jim. Uh, well, it's, we've got a fantastic team. You know, uh, Gary and Boyd were the geniuses that came up with the idea. I've just tried to help them execute the plan. And, well, you've done uh, well. Primarily, you know, on the sales side. And, uh, we're, you know, we're, we're, we're really – we're starting to hit our stride. I, yes. I honestly – we, we launched our new website the 4th of January with, uh, you know, Good. we rebranded FLW Big Five. Yes. And yeah. we really are uh, hitting our stride. And I think you're going to see a lot of great things from us with our new membership club, the Champions Club rolling out this year. and It'll be one of a kind. So we're yeah. looking forward to it, Larry. Well, Jim, thank you for being with us uh, again. Uh, uh, nothing but success for you guys. And again, all these TV channels, they're on now. You just look into them. You can't miss them. Outdoor Channel Discovery, CBS, CBS Sports Network, or a fishing network. I could go on Sportsman Channel, On Demand, at My Outdoor TV. Golly, I don't think, I think I don't know if any of them, you're not on, you know, but. Uh, we got it covered. Got it covered. Jim Weber, thank you, man. Have a great weekend, and we'll stay in touch, okay? Uh, always a pleasure. Thank you, guys. You too. Thank you, Jim. Bye-bye. All right. Uh-huh. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Seemed like Jim needed to get out there. I heard the chimes ringing in, uh, where is that, Benton, Kentucky, Ron? Is that where? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that, well, maybe it was a fire truck going by. I don't know. Hey, Ron, thank you for being with us. Bill Cooksey, thank you guys for being with us. Always and, a pleasure. And again next Always. week. Uh, and again next week, uh, Ron will be up at the Grizzly Jig uh, unveiling. Uh, and I'm so proud of Louie and all those guys up there and Wade for where they were in this new facility they've got. Uh, uh, it's an amazing place, and I look forward to talking to Ron up there next weekend. So, uh, And I will mention also, we're going to talk to Butch Helton, uh, Wilderness Wildlife Weekends, getting ready to come to uh, up to, uh, where is it up there? Uh, Gatlinburg, coming up to Gatlinburg next to next, uh, Pigeon Forge. So we're going to talk to Butch also next week. Not not Butch Jones, but Butch Helton. Okay? So, uh, <laughs> and some of you will understand that. But anyway, Shelby. Thank you, Shelby. Shelby's a busy person. Ron, Bill, doesn't cost an extra cent to be a good sport. And what else, guys? God, God bless, bless the USA. USA.